Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you YouTube TV on Android TV. This is a Sony 4K television. And I want you to notice how quickly it starts up. Uh, if you want to just hop into something live, boom. I'm going to mute this. Now, if I hit channel up, it immediately shows me a quick guide. I like this feature much better than the Roku TV and that I can hop around from one thing to another rather quickly. And then I hit the, uh, the enter button and boom, we're watching CW. Now, what's neat about the YouTube TV is you can customize how you want your channels uh, according to your profile, uh, what order you want them. You can only do that going online. But uh, well, let's see the, the game here. Now, the one bad thing about uh, YouTube TV is, well, I compare it to PlayStation View. really like PlayStation View because if you select NCAA basketball, it's gonna save every single NCAA basketball game for the next 30 days. Uh, so they expire after 30 days, but it's pretty nice. So if you're not really a fan of Florida State, but you wouldn't mind watching the game, well, it's available on PlayStation View where you have to watch it live unless you save that particular game on YouTube TV. It is pretty nice. Uh, the, the picture's really nice. Again, the choice of channels is kind of limited. Now, I hit the down arrow, and you get the same kind of guide as what you get in the Roku TV. So I can go back to live uh, guide, which is what I basically hit when I hit channel up or channel down. Or I can go down and see recent channels. So it allows me to pop in and out. Now I was just watching this on the Roku TV and you notice how well how quickly it popped up. Now this was a recording from a few days ago. Now I'm going to hit the right arrow button and you watch the preview. It allows you to fast forward to a certain point. So let's say we want to go fast forward through these commercials and now the game's back on. Uh, let's take it to here. Now I'm going to hit the center button, the enter button. And boom, I fast forwarded to that point of the game. So it's pretty neat. You hit the back button. And we got back to the uh, the main screen. Now you can go to the live guide. And it's just a bigger version of what you saw in the quick guide. However, you can go to the right and see what's coming on. It is it's a little bit slow. Uh, what I don't like about it is you can't go back in time, where in uh, Sony TV, or should I say PlayStation View, you can go back to earlier times, and you can even see what you recorded, and you can play it directly off the guide, where this, not, not so easy. Now I'm going to hit the back button, and I'm going to go over to Home, and you get the same kind of, you want to see something based on sports, bam. Oh, there's last night's Lakers game where right there. They got demolished. <laughs> um, now I went back and let's say we go over to football. Oh, that football game's on now. That's probably that's definitely a replay from last Saturday. So you got a number of different options. I hit back, I hit back again, and we're back to the home screen. You see all the different choices. You got shows, sports, news, family, movies. Let's just hop in one and see how quickly it, it goes. So watch now. All right, now let's say we want to rewind it. Let's see how far back we can go. We can only go back as far as the current. 
Now, if we were recording this, that'd be another story. So let's go back. Let's find something that's currently recording. If That is pretty neat, all the different information that you can see on it. Oh, that's neat. Shows a number of different shows starring the actor. And it also shows related on YouTube. And then similar to this movie. So there's a there's a lot of fancy features that are available in YouTube TV. You can find similar features in PlayStation View, but again the difference is you're limited on the number of channels that are available in YouTube TV. Here's my library, recordings, most watched, shows. These are shows that I've recorded. Just recorded one hour ago, a week ago. And you're also going to get on-demand things. Oh, scheduled. About. Lead cast. So it's, it's pretty neat. But uh, that pretty much goes through. Oh, up there you can remove it from library. Oh, let's talk about how to add something to library. So let's go back to home. And let's say we want to add high noon to library. Okay, so I hit enter. It's going to take me to the current show. I'm going to hit the down button. And then I go over here to add to library. And then I can just add it to the library. Now if I go over to info, it's going to give me a little bit of stuff. Now if I go all the way over to the three dots, this is where you can see the quality. Obviously, uh, 10, 8, 10, excuse me, 720p is the highest level of quality on this particular program. Closed caption options. You can change the font, the color, the background, a number of different options in the uh, closed caption. Audio options. Primary or secondary, secondary would be Spanish. Stat for, for nerds, <laughs> that's a uh, YouTube thing. And then send feedback. So there's, there's some cool options with PlayStation View, I mean, excuse me, YouTube TV. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go over PlayStation View on my next video, and I uh, hope you like it. I hope you like these videos and uh, please hit subscribe uh, if you'd like to see more. Thank you.